What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about current news in Norway. Because as an American, I never get to see Norwegian news here in the United States from any of our news or media. So today I'd like to take some time to learn about the current news and events happening in Norway right now, starting with a uh, triple murder suicide. What? What? Triple, triple murder suicide? Shocks small mountain community? Oh my God. What? In Norway? Really? I, that is shocking, you know, but, but this is not the first time I've ever heard of something like this. Like, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, like a couple weeks ago or maybe months ago, there was a story about a murder suicide in Norway. Um, and I thought that was just the craziest thing. Is this, is this a different story? Is this a different triple murder suicide? Small mountain community? What is this? Let's oh, let's look at this. Triple murder suicide shocks small mountain community in Norway. The small Norwegian town of Ull in the mountains of Hallingdal was stunned during the weekend by another triple murder and suicide. What? What? I'm I am confused. I. I, I am genuinely like, what? Uh, is this, this says another? Another? Stunned during the weekend by another triple murder suicide that left a family of four dead in their own home? Oh my God. What do they mean another? Is this, is this the same town where there was another murder suicide? The same... The same town in Norway has had yet another murder-suicide. Is, is that correct? It's the latest in a series of murder-suicide within Norwegian families. And police are ringing alarms. Oh my god. This is just horrifying. Um, and, I, and I gotta say it again. This is not what you expect to hear happening in Norway. Like, Norway is known for very low crime, low murder. Uh, so this is the town. So it's a small mountain town in Norway. Um, oh my God. <sighs> this year, it's become the site of a triple murder suicide. We've traditionally been a country with few murders. Exactly, exactly. That's why this is so shocking to me. I'm sure this is absolutely shocking and devastating to Norwegians as well. Um, but it's also shocking, like, from my American point of view, looking, looking in, looking from the outside in. And we've had a sense of control over the situation. Uh, Chief of State Police Criminal Investigation told Norwegian Broadcasting, we're now afraid we're seeing more murders in Norway than earlier. Oh my God, they, they just... Absolutely hate to hear about this. Um, this is not the news I was expecting to see today. Wow, the latest wave has involved domestic violence with one family member killing others and committing suicide. Yes, this reminds me of a different news story a while back where there was murder-suicide. This person killed... A lot of the members of their family. Children, I think, too. And a dog, I think, too. Um, and this has happened again? I don't know if it's the same exact town or not. In addition to partner murders, Norway has had four cases of families being all but wiped out in just the past six months. Oh, my God. So I missed out. <sighs> okay. So I, I missed out on some of these because there's been four. Four? Four cases, four cases of families being all but wiped out in the last six months. What is, what is going on? 
January 1st, 19-year-old man killed his mother and stepfather before killing himself. September 27th, mother and 8-year-old daughter found dead, probably killed by their father, suspected of murder-suicide. I didn't know there were three other cases. I thought there was one other case. And then Saturday night, police faced another triple murder-suicide in the town of Aol Hollingdal. So these have been in different parts of Norway. I thought this was the same exact town. Um, so there's been four of these in the last six months. That is just... what? What's causing all of this? Is there... Is this a trend? Is there a reason? Like, you know, you, you never think that, like, violence and murder really has any justification or reason. But... Four different times now, you, ha you can't help but think, like, what's going on here? What what's happening? After receiving a call from what they called a worried member of the family, they drove out to the house at around 3 p.m., found nothing amiss outside. They returned at 8 p.m. after failing to make contact. Oh, my God. So a family member called because uh, their family members were missing. The police then broke into the house and found the bodies of all four family members. Wow. They suspected one of the family members had killed the other three before committing suicide. Is this like a is this like a mental health problem that some part like parts of Norway are facing? Or gruesome tragedy for the family. No kidding. Um, this is beyond gruesome. This is terrifying. Horrible. Sad is the word. Very sad. Tragedy for the community and the entire nation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mental health issues, drugs, alcohol, financial problems, a divorce, or a combination of these things can trigger violence and murder. It's difficult to say what exactly the motive is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so this town has a total population of 400. 400 people. Very, very, very small town. Holy cow, man. Uh, that is shocking. That is beyond shocking to me. Mourners gather again after police identify murder-suicide victims. This is like a follow-up. The Torpo Church in Ol was opened for mourners following the triple murder-suicide. Police revealed the identities of the three victims. Um... And the father, yeah, the father who was charged post-mortem killing his wife and two children. So sad. What do, man, what do Norwegians think about all this? It must be interesting. Because from my point of view, as an American, there are murders every day in America. People die. America is so gigantic. The United States is such a big place. There's murders going on every day it's not uncommon as a matter of fact you can't even keep up with all the the death and murder in america since it happens all the time this is norway is completely different so uh, from my american point of view it's like oh yeah another murder okay but it's shocking in norway and i expect for norwegians this must just be i don't know so disturbing that norway is facing this unprecedented time? Like, four murder-suicides in the last six months? Uh, you almost can't help but think, are the people who are inclined to do this, are they seeing these murder-suicides in the news, and then they're thinking, oh, maybe I should do that. Like, they're getting almost encouragement from the previous murder, and something like that? Or, or are Norwegians just facing mental health crisis that is, like, different, unprecedented? Either way, something very terrible is going on. And this is very, very sad for me to see. And I'm sure Norwegians feel very, very sad about this as well. Man, my, my heart goes out. Truly, truly. Whew. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, twilight time for Hjette building. Hjette? I think that has to do with cabins? After years of massive Hjette construction in Norway that fed a craving for holiday homes, 
This is like a holiday home or a vacation home or a cabin, right? The market has tumbled and authorities are re reining in building permits. It's a result of supply and demand, but also a rising concern of how large developments have scarred the landscape and destroyed nature. So there's too many like cabins and vacation houses being built in Norway. Like that was very, very popular for a while. And now the, the demand has gone way down. And um, <laughs> that's an interesting story. That is not something I've ever thought about, but I guess that makes sense. Norway was had a big, big demand for hytte, for cabins and buildings, for vacation. And now that demand is going down. I wonder why. Why did it go up? Why was it so popular? And now it's becoming less popular. Do Norwegians not want to go on little vacations around Norway as much? Or I wonder why. Actually, maybe it says here. <laughs> maybe I should take a look. Hundreds of thousands of Norwegians are spending their Easter holidays at their holiday homes, known as Hjette. Uh They're no longer simple rustic cabins in the mountains without electricity or plumbing. So these are modern. These are very nice modern cabins. Norwegians love being at their Hjette. So why are these uh, sales are down 13%? Why? Uh, Hjette boomed during the pandemic when it wasn't possible to travel abroad. Ah, and because the economy is going down. During the pandemic, Norwegians traveled within Norway. But now, Norwegians can travel once again to other countries, so there's not as much, like, demand for cabins or hytte inside of Norway. And also, like, it's kind of a tough time for the economy everywhere in the world. So Norwegians might not be spending as much. Yeah. Speaking of which, Norway's currency weakens again. The Norwegian currency is weakening, uh, known as the krone, fell once again after the Easter holiday. The latest decline came on Monday, when financial markets remained open uh, in most of the rest of the world. Some financiers blame Norway's left-center government, so the Norwegian kroner is losing value. But I think this is happening to a lot of currencies around the world, though, right? I mean, there's even times where the U.S. dollar, like, goes down in value. Um, but maybe this is, like, especially significant for Norway? I don't know. There's nothing... I don't exactly keep track of <laughs> what currencies are worth. But this also seems to be very focused on criticizing the Norwegian government. Like, uh, criticizing the Norwegian government, like it's their fault that Norway is, like, having economic struggle and that the Norwegian currency is getting weakened against the rest of the world. Interesting, interesting. What else do we have here? Parliament reopened after threats? Threats? What is going on? <laughs> what is going on in Norway? What is this? There were threats against the Norwegian government? So what, they had to close down? Police cordoned off Norway's parliament building on Wednesday after two unclear threats raised security concerns. It was pretty much business as usual inside, though. Uh, and three government ministers didn't escape being grilled <laughs> in the National Assembly's weekly question hour. <laughs> so even though the parliament building was closed because it was threatened, um, the, the politicians still had to be grilled, had to be questioned. Uh, they, good, I guess that's good. So it was just like one building in particular, one building in the Norwegian government that had to be shut down. Um, wow. So they had to respond to questions about safety issues. Who, who threatened the Norwegian parliament? All members of parliament received a text message from the parliament's administration at 10 a.m. that all of the building's entrances had been closed because of an unclear security situation. No one can come in or go out. More information will follow. Oh, oh, this was during the workday. 
This was like the middle of the day at 10 a.m. Everyone was already at work in the Norwegian government. And then they got a threat. And then no one could leave or go in. Wow. Update was sent out after 11 a.m. that the situation was still unclear and that all entrances and exits remained closed. No indication that it was dangerous to remain inside the building. Man, I'd love to know what the threat actually was. Oh, this is it. Police eventually confirmed two bomb threats and trained dogs were unleashed around the building to sniff around the walls, garbage, and plant boxes. Wow. Two threats came in via email. And wow, they had to take it seriously. Bomb threats against the Norwegian pol uh, parliament. That is, that is very serious. That is scary. What the heck? Man, this is... And again, all of this stuff is not news that we get here in the United States. I had no idea about, God, the, the murder-suicides um, or about this, these bomb threats on the Norwegian parliament. God, is there a... <laughs> Unfortunately, today, it's been a lot of bad news. Very sad news. I wonder if there's any, like, good news? Is there any good news today with Norway, maybe? Ramadan decorations stirred a debate. Ramadan decorations? A decision by Oslo's government to decorate the street outside City Hall for Ramadan has stirred debate. Uh, this is a Muslim holiday. Uh, the goal was to promote fellowship, inclusion, and diversity, but critics weren't impressed. Ah, so there seems to be a lot of tension going on here, and some people didn't want, like, Ramad uh, Ramadan decorations outside of Oslo City Hall. I see, I see. That That's kind of like the sort of controversies that we still, that we have here in the United States, honestly. King Harold sick leave extended. Oh, no. Okay, so this is something that I learned about uh, I think maybe last week or the week before, King Harold had a, a pacemaker put in, or heart surgery, I think, and he's trying to recover from an illness. His sick leave is extended. He won't be back until April 22nd. Wow, that's like two or three weeks. After doctors extended his sick leave after an infection earlier this year. Prince Hakon will continue as regent in the meantime. That's very good. It's good that uh, Norway has the crown prince who seems to be doing a good job. But uh, my heart goes out as well to uh, King Harold. Man, yeah, take all the time you need. This is a really serious, like, operations and illnesses. Take your time. Wow. King is on sick leave for two more weeks. Yeah. Wow. I hope everything's okay. I think that's probably a good idea. Like, no need to rush getting back. I know uh, King Harold is really, really loved by the nation, the country of Norway, and I think everyone wants what's best for him. So, if you gotta rest up and get better, that's great. That's perfectly fine. Understandable. And with that, I think that is uh, pretty much the news for today. Oh my god, that was uh, intense. That was an intense day of news, but again, I, I, I'm very glad to at least be aware of these things. I enjoy being up to date on all this stuff in Norway that I, you never hear about this in the United States. Uh, you don't. So this is great that I, I feel like I'm up to date and actually know what's going on, even though there were a lot of sad things going on in Norway right now. So I, I hope there's... You know, the future looks brighter, because this was a bit sad. But I enjoyed uh, learning about this today. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like, or leave a comment with your thoughts on any of the Norwegian news here today. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.